Hello, and welcome to another video of the Rolden Cloud How-To Series. I am Nutrix, and together in this video, we'll look into how to test drive the TR-808 in your computer. Now, Rolden has a test drive for the TR-808, which is a software that runs only inside a DAW. So it's not a standalone, so it will not be able to run just by itself. So we'll need a DAW. And if you don't have a DAW, or if you don't even know what a DAW is, digital audio workstation. Roland has one free for you to download also. So that's called Zenbeats. It's very simple. You basically need to go on to rolandcloud.com. Download the Roland Cloud Manager. It's either for Windows or for Mac. When it's downloaded, you can install it correctly on your computer. You go back on the Roland Cloud online, rolandcloud.com, and then you sign in. You create your account on the Roland Cloud. It's free, nothing to pay. You just get into the Roland Cloud account. You confirm that with your email. All of that is done. When it's ready, you go back to the Roland Cloud Manager on your computer, turn it on. It will actually ask you to log in. So the account you just open with Roland Cloud Online, you use the same credential to log in. And then you're in. You have all the latest information about new plugins, new patches, new sound banks. There's a little section here, test drive. So you click on test drive and the stuff that you can actually test drive right now should be here. At the moment of me doing this video, the test drive is for the XV5080. But starting on 808 day, you should be able to see the TR-808 here to be able to test drive it. In the library, you're going to get at one point, there's everything that you can actually download or buy or rent from the rolling cloud. If I go to TR-808, this is the instrument. It's part of the legendary package. It's a software. It takes 60 megabytes. It's very small because it's all algorithms creating the sounds. It's not a sample. And there's a button install. So I'm going to install it. It's going to take time to download and to install. Ask you your password. Look at the same time while this is installing. Look that there's also the TR-808 Dark Techno. Dynamics, 808, Modern Hip Hop Beats. Actually, let's just install all of them. Uh, accept and accept. I'm going to get all of them. The next step is to actually install Zenbeats. So in the same manager window, you go into software and you're going to have Zenbeats, one of them. And then you install it. In my case, it's already installed, but you would click on it and then you install Zenbeats. Once this is installed, you open Zenbeats. When you get in, you have to sign it with your Roland account and you type your information. When you're logged in, now you got to verify that, first of all, in the settings that you have audio, you've got some interface. So click on something, build in audio. Uh, if you have an interface like me, I've got the Roland Rubik's 22. And if you don't see the plugin, you might have to go into plugin and say scan for new. It will scan for the latest plugin that has been installed in your computer. So it might be also something you have to do. I didn't have to do it, but you might have to. And then when you have this done, you go into Open Song, and there's a template at the top here. Click on Template, and at one of the options you have here is the TR-808 template. So that's a cool thing because it's already set up for you. Double click on this, and it's going to load a session. One instrument already assigned to the TR-808. You've got the track information. If you click on the plugin, you've got a plugin information. You click on it and you have your instrument. Now to play with it, it's very simple. You have all the sounds here. If you press start, you should have something running. Right away it works. You can go in and change the presets. So this is how you change presets. And you can also change separately just the sounds, the kits they call it. Always the same pattern, but a different drum kit. And you say, well, how can you have so many different drum kits? I mean, the, isn't like the TR-808 only playing always the same sounds? In a way, yes, but in a way, no. You have in the panel here, a level, bass drum, snare drum, all of these different sounds. You've got some control over it, like toning and decay and snappy and decay and toning. The rest is level. So you can tune some of it. 
the way you want. But also there's a button here called the panel. You press on panel and you have the same buttons and knobs now control more stuff. You've got panning and you've got gain and you've got tuning for some of the sounds. Now the panning is really interesting, of course, when you're doing stereo stuff, the tums, for example, or the hi-hats, but for the, the gain is really fun to have, let's say I'm gonna just select the A, start playing with it. I bring that up. I'm bringing saturation and distortion. I go back to the other and I get longer decay. Same thing with the snare. And have it like snappy, it's actually distorting. So it's a cool little thing to have, and you can have enough changes that you have different sounds right in this little box. So when you have this and you like it, you can go right and you can actually save the patch or the drum kit that you just did. Now, if you want to create your own patterns, you click on edit. And in edit here, you can actually type in the notes where you want them, and you're gonna have your drum playing these sounds. You've got the sounds from bass drum, snare low, so it goes from left to right, from the first beat here to the last step over there, and then you play them, just the one. See, that's it. One thing that is really important, and a lot of people might get confused with this, is the fact that right now, the roll in TR-808, the way it's set up in this, in this setup right now, it's exactly like the original TR-808, meaning, it's a sequencer. The TR-808 is a drum machine. It's a sequencer of drum with drum sounds. So right now, if I press play, what I'm doing, I'm triggering the internal sequencer of the plugin. I'm actually not using the Zen Beats sequencer, only it's just there to trigger the drum machine. So the drum machine will play. But what you can also do is play live. You can actually record notes and play these drum sounds off the sequence of Zen Beats. And that's where it could be confusing because you would probably have these notes being played twice. Once by the internal sequencer of the plugin and once by the internal sequencer of Zen Beats itself. So to have this unlocked so they don't play at the same time, there's a little option here, an option called Position Lock to DAW. If you turn this on, when you press play here, it will trigger the drum kit. The play stop and the tempo will control the internal sequencer. If I go in option and I deactivate Position Lock to DAW and I press play on the sequence in Zen Beats, it's not triggering anything. It's waiting for the notes to be played. But I'm just gonna change this layout here to the grid. Here we go. There's a really cool feature inside of TR-808. When you go into option, you get drag and drop pattern as MIDI and drag and drop pattern as audio. Keep it at MIDI for now. Click on A, drop it here. And now this is actually playing the sounds of the TR-808. So the sequence is now in Zen Beats, but it's a sequence that was already programmed in the TR-808. So we use the TR-808 as a beat generator, and that exported into your sequence, and now you can actually go in and modify them the way you want. And then you use the internal sequencer to do what you want. If you find that the interface is too small or too big, go into option, you have a zoom control. You actually can zoom smaller or bigger, okay, to fit your screen. That's it. You know enough to play with it and have fun. Now download the TR-808 plugin, download Zen Beats. Don't be afraid, it's free. Play with it, just have fun, and you'll understand why the TR-808 has been such an important impact on the music uh, that we know, because it's just a fun tool to play with, and it sounds good. Play with it, have fun, and stay tuned, because we're gonna have a deeper dive inside the TR-808 very soon, same channel. Any question, any comments, put them below, and I hope to see you soon. Yeah.